Next, we'll be cutting out this groove area. Grooving is a process that removes material from a channel with a plunging motion. Many times this is a narrow area, but it can be a larger open area. Grooving will plunge into the part radially rather than cutting axially. In this lesson, we will cover the grooving parameters and create a grooving tool for the library. So from the turning toolpath pull down, I want you to select turning groove. Let's go to select a tool. Make sure that you've expanded the library tree and that you select the current job that we're working on, which is our tutorial six. In here, we can tell it that we want to create a new turning tool. So because we're doing grooving, it's automatically going to select a grooving tool as our option. And we can select things like insert material and the type of units that we'll be using to describe this tool. The first thing I want to set is to define the shape as being square. For my thickness, I'll select T3, which is 3.97 millimeters. That gives us an automatic corner radius here of 0.8 millimeters. So there is a small radius on the corner of the insert. Our groove width, we're going to set this to 2.5. The actual width to 2.2. I'm going to set the head length to 50 millimeters and the overall length to 50 millimeters. So that made my insert longer. And the reason I did that is because we're going to use this same tool as a cutoff tool later on. Now let's go to the holder tab and we can define some of the parameters for the holder. So let's set the head length to 50 millimeters the overall length to 125, 20 for the shank, and 20 for the shank height. Now let's take a look at the Setup tab. Now on the Setup tab, you can set the compensation to the tip. This tells Fusion where to calculate the tool path from. You should reference your tool offset on the machine to the same location that you set it in here. Right now it's set to the front corner. We're going to press OK to select these changes and OK to select the tool. Now let's go to our Groove Geometry tab. In here we need to select the faces that will actually be machining. So I'm going to rotate this over a little bit and I'm going to set my confinement by grabbing some walls. So we're set to nothing right now but I'm going to grab this wall, this floor, and this wall. On the Radii tab, we really have nothing that we need to change, although we could set our clearance out to this diameter if we wanted to, but we really don't have to. Let's take a look at our passes. I'm going to have it do a full step down with a one millimeter step over. You can tell it to use a pecking value. For harder materials, this will take multiple pecks going in to reach the final depth. You can also have it dwell when it hits the bottom of that depth. You can also use a reduced feed rate so that it gets towards the end of the cut, it slows down. For our up-down direction, right now it's set to up and down. Now, you would need the right kind of insert for that. We're going to change this so that we're cutting only down. It's cutting down and into the part. Again, we really don't have anything to change here. If we simply go with the defaults and hit OK, we're going to get a pretty good toolpath. And that's the basics of turning groove.